Hi, and welcome to the Logic Studio Minute. My name is Graham English, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a cool time saving tip for your Logic Studio templates. I'm going to go ahead and open a template that I've created called Down Tempo. We'll cancel this. I'll go up to the File menu and choose Bounce. Now, if you're like me, you like to mix down your projects to MP3 a lot and then put them on your iPod or iPhone and listen to them in different situations and different speakers to get a feel for your mixes and how the song's coming together. One of the things I like to do is have my projects automatically write MP3 ID3 tags. That way I can always know what I'm listening to and I don't have to do this every time I start a new project. And I'll show you how. We'll choose MP3 here. We'll choose write ID3 tags. Click on the ID3 settings button and we'll just fill out our information with some defaults. I'll put my name for artist, I'll put my name for album, and you can fill out the rest of this. Another tag I like to put on here is in the comment section, I like to put to write. And then I create a smart playlist in iTunes that automatically looks for this keyword in the comment section and automatically syncs it to my various iPods and iPhones. That way I can always keep everything synced together and I always know what I'm working on say OK and we won't bounce it here it automatically save these settings so now we'll save this as a template and it should find the template folder right here if it doesn't and you've got your finder windows open here to a um, to your project templates you can go ahead and do this really cool trick here and just drag this over and any finder dialog will automatically go directly to that folder just so you know the path for your personal project templates it's this. It's in your users, your user folder, library, application support, logic, project templates. You can also do this with the pre-installed logic project templates and that folder path is this. It's on your hard drive, library, application support, logic, and project templates. So we'll go ahead and we'll save this. We'll replace it and now test it out. Create a new one. Go to bounce and test and we'll see that our ID3 tags are already here and they will automatically be written when we bounce to MP3. So I hope you found this tip useful and thanks for watching the Logic Studio Minute. If you want to master Logic Studio fast, drop what you're doing and head to logicstudiotraining.com.